We now know why a 26-year-old man killed a woman he lived with and had a brief relationship with. Police think he wanted to attack her and then become her hero. Back in April, investigators would only say the suspect blamed home invaders for the crime, but now documents show she was strangled to death after the relationship went south. Channel 9's Shannon Butler joining us live now. And Shannon, he did a lot to cover his tracks on this one. He sure did. According to documents, Asger Olfer shot himself in the foot to try to make it look like he too was a victim of those home invaders. Turns out detectives didn't believe that for a second and slowly they started to piece together this crime saying Olfer in the days before the murder bought duct tape and other supplies to carry it out. Asger Olfer told detectives that he walked in just as a home invasion was in progress. I saw her on the ground and um, I said, oh my God, oh my God, Nellie, are you okay? And um, that's when the person came out of the bathroom and um, had a gun up to me. But it seems none of that story was true. In documents released by the state attorney's office, it was his own sister who turned him in for murder. Danielle Brown says she heard Olfer tell an attorney that he accidentally killed Danielle Scar. He said that it was an accident, that he didn't mean to kill her. He just wanted to scare her and hurt her because she hurt him so bad. But video from a Walmart showed that Olfer bought a ski mask, boots, duct tape, and zip ties just two days before the murder. On April 5th, Brown said that Olfer admitted he went into the home where he used to live when Scar was out. He hid in a closet while she and her boyfriend slept. And in the morning, when the boyfriend left, Olfer attacked her. Detectives think that Scar tried to fight him, but he tied her legs and arms with duct tape and those zip ties. She passed out. Then he duct taped her eyes and mouth and cut her hair when it got in the way. She passed out again. Now, documents say the two met while working at an Olive Garden. Friends said they weren't surprised that he was named the suspect in that murder. They said that he was violent towards Scar and she was very afraid of him.